Hey, how y'all doing? This is Mongo Slade, and today we're going to talk about Glow um, being canceled off Netflix. <clears throat> so, uh, I was happened to be online, and I started seeing all these he-hims and she-hers and they-thems complaining about Glow. And I was like, oh, okay. So, I clicked the hashtag and saw that Glow was canceled. Now, uh, for people who don't know, Glow is a TV show about wrestling. It's basically a sitcom or something like that. It was a reboot of the Glow from the 80s. And uh, you know what? Uh, I, I didn't. I watched the first season, and to be quite honest, the show kind of jumped the shark for me halfway through the first season. It was degenerate as fuck, as Hollywood tends to be. And it really just, I don't feel like it captured uh, anything, it, except... The power of feminism. And I know that the second season, they kind of went off the rails into some other shit, but I didn't see it, so I can't confirm. But I know that the first season was basically uh, some lady trying to get into wrestling because she couldn't find a job and a bunch of other out-of-work actresses who decided to get into wrestling because it was something to do, but all of them hated it and it was too hard. And one of them was being kept down by her husband and uh, she had to go out and learn to love wrestling by going to one of the shows and fucking one of the wrestlers. And then she decided she wanted to be, I guess through osmosis through his jizz, all of a sudden she, she, she gained the passion for pro wrestling. It was fucking stupid. It was a stupid fucking show. Um, but some people enjoyed it. So I have to, I'm going to respect, I choose to respect that they enjoyed glow for what it was. Um, it was a it was really eighties, but I I I I seen enough. I watched it because I like wrestling. I watched the novelty of it for the first time. I, I you couldn't pay me to watch a second season. And that's on top of Netflix just being degenerate in in period. You know, degen Netflix sucks. Um, if you if you still have Netflix, uh, I I don't know why. <laughs> I honestly don't know why. After the whole cuties fiasco, I I don't get why people still have Netflix. I mean, everything uh, as far as, you know, they have shows aimed at children that have sex in it, you know, uh, coarse language, and all the types of weird stuff, you know, which is fine for adults. But these these are animated shows that are aimed at kids, you know, you know, kids, kids talking about sexual innuendos and stuff like that. Like, it's not funny. It's not cool. It's not cute. It's stealing the innocence of the youth. And I will not abide it. But um, let's read this article, which, I, I, you know, well, this is a piece of an article. And I, I'm very deeply concerned by the way these people talk. The, the way these Hollywood people talk really concerns me. They don't talk like human beings. They don't talk like normal people. Let me let me read this this passage and uh, maybe you guys understand what I mean. Oh, shit. Uh. COVID has killed actual humans. It's a national tragedy and should be our focus. COVID also apparently took down our show. Series creators Liz Flayhive and Carly Mensch said in a statement, Netflix has decided not to finish filming the final season of Glow. We were handed the creative freedom to make a complicated comedy about women and tell their stories and wrestle. And now that's gone. There's a lot of shitty things happening in the world that are much bigger than this right now, but it sucks that we don't get to see these 15 women in the, in a frame together again. We'll miss our cast of weirdo clowns and our heroic crew. It was the best job. Register to vote and please vote. What? Who talks like this? Who talks like this? COVID has killed actual humans. No, COVID has killed a bunch of... Bu who talks like this? No, COVID has killed bovines. You know, of course it killed actual fucking humans. That doesn't even make any sense. That's that's silly. <laughs> There's a lot of shitty things happening in the world that are much bigger than this right now. Like, yeah, every year TV shows get canceled. This is not a big deal. This is not a big deal at all. TV shows literally get canceled all the time. We don't get to see these 15 women in a frame together again. We'll ma miss our cast of weirdo clowns and our heroic crew. What? Weirdo clowns? Okay. And registered to vote. Oh, yeah. Sure. Sure. Whatever. Uh, Glow's dead. Uh, R.I.P. Glow. It, uh, it deserved it. 
It should have been killed after the first season. The only reason it was still around is because it keeps the the they thems pretty happy and entertained. But hey, everybody got to have something, right? And that's the Netflix uh, demographic is the the they them audience. So, uh, to hell with Glow. I'm kind of glad it's dead. It sucks for the crew. A lot of people who took the time, well, especially the wrestlers that worked on the show, like Chavo Guerrero. It's been a bad year for Chavo. He tried to sue WWE, and his his lawsuit got tossed out. Now he was the fight coordinator for GLOW, and now he's lost his job. That sucks. I know Taya Valkyrie was also on GLOW. It sucks for her. Uh, awesome Kong, I believe, was also on GLOW. It sucks for her. You know, it sucks for some of the people who were on the show, like the wrestlers, because, you know, they were using this as, you know, a second kind of uh, supplementary in- income. And it was actually a good way to get into the Hollywood um, game. So it's always good for that. And I guess, you know, that's the that's the positive of looking at it, is that it took, it gave opportunities to some wrestlers to be on TV and to do something different. And I guess I could support that. Because um, I didn't know Tyre Valkyrie was even on the show until she posted it. Um, Something about it. As a matter of fact, let's read while I'm doing this video. Let's read what she had to say about it. Okay, so Taya Valkyrie was actually supposed to be on season four. She says, to say I'm disappointed would be an understatement. This past February, I was cast on Glow, Glow Netflix season four. This was finally my chance to be seen as an actress. She spelled seen, S-C-E-N-E. As an actress to work with some of the most talented women behind and in front of the camera. I'm heartbroken that we the, that the work we did will never be seen. She spelled it correctly this time. And that we didn't get to finish what we had started. Thank you to everyone that was so nice to me and supportive on set. I guess I'll just have to wait a little longer to meet you in Hollywood. So, I know that sucked for her. You know, there's... Um, that that's That sucks. So I don't, I'm not really feeling too, I was, I was glad it was dead at first. And then I, then I read that and I was like, no, it's kind of sad. Now I'm like, no, Taya's okay. You know, Taya's got that impact job. Um, she's, she's going to be all right. She's not like her, it was not, not like her only job. So, but it's, it's, it sucks. Cause she had, she was finally about to, <laughs> just finally about to break through. And then somebody was like, nope, not for you. Not for you, but uh, like I said, the show was degenerate as fuck. I mean, it is what it is. But uh, let me know if you watched the show in uh, the comment section below. Let me know if you enjoyed it. I see that, that there, there are some people that I that I know that I see, and um, that they have enjoyed it. You know, again, it wasn't for me, but if you enjoyed it, let me know what you enjoyed about it. Was it the wrestling aspect? Was it, did you, was it like the storylines good or whatever? Um, I'll probably never watch it. I'm just interested in having a conversation about the show. So let me know what you think about the show. And um, see you guys later.